Hello everyone and welcome back to Flight Sim 2020 where I'm going to try out Kinetic Assistant which is a payware app, a fairly cheap payware app that is supposed to help with gliding. And by default in Flight Sim right now we don't have many visual references for where the heck the thermals are. The thermals aren't connected to the cloud system so you can't recognize them by the appropriate clouds and we don't have the other visualizations we used to have in FSX. So Kinetic Assistant tries to help out with that. There are two planes, freeware planes, that are able to use Kinetic Assistant that I know of. There's the DG-808 and there's also Discus uh, 2C, wherever that happens to be. But I'm just going to go with the D, uh, DG-808. So these are both freeware on flightsim.to and we will see how they work with Kinetic Assistant. Now the tool says that it needs to be started up first and then flight sim gets started and then we pick the plane and start the flight and then we press connect on kinetic assistant there and then i'll see how that works but uh yep we'll i i don't know if it wants us to be in a particular location but i liked flying around uh switzerland so i think maybe we'll try switzerland i don't know if that'll work out for it we'll see so I'm going to go with the very famous uh, Sion location. Here it is. All right, so I'll set that as departure and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so here we are in the DG-808. I have my track IR enabled. And let me actually pause it for now. And so this does seem to have a little engine available to us or is that what that little thing is? Is that a little jet or something? I don't know, I haven't flown it yet. It does have an engine. Okay, I've, I've stopped it. I want to try the winch function. Okay, so, connect. Well, glider. I don't need a server. Let's see, hotspots. Enable API hotspots. Is that what I'm supposed to do? I do have the manual available. Automatic hotspots loading for the current area. Well, I'll try that. Hotspot heights above sea level. Oh, maybe that's the limit. Okay, I think that that hotspot is the upper limit for the thermals. We don't really have any sort of clouds around, actually. So, hotspot birds, uh, block. Size huge, why not? Alright. So that function is only with the, the payware version. There is a freeware version of Kinetic Assistant, but it doesn't have the birds. So I wanted the birds. Okay, well, I'm going to enable hotspots. Oh, and then it expands to have a little map. So we've got this map over here. Okay, it says attached to closest. Here, let me move this back. Attached to closest. Hmm, um, search. Attached to closest. Oh, something's happening. Uh-oh, I'm getting towed. I'm getting towed by that truck. Um, that's not what I intended. Is it that truck? I think it stopped moving. I'm gonna need something that's actually gonna... No. Wait. The rope is going this way. Um... What do you mean thumbs up? <laughs> well, something happened, that's for sure. Okay, release tow rope? Release. And maximum winch speed. Fine. Winch. Target Let's... speed 6 0 take slack. 6 0 taking slack. Okay, so what is happening? Go, go, go. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, this is not a good idea. 
winch. Target speed six oh take slack. Okay, let's restart. We've got an option uh, instead of AI vehicle A about AI helicopter. Recorded flight track might be safer. Insert tow plane. Okay, let Relief. me just stop. Insert tow plane. Glider on the roll. Okay. Okay, okay, looks like we've got something here. Maybe this will be better. Oh, the engine is on though. I should have thought about turning the engine on actually. Okay, up we go. Well, I think I'm... Okay. I'm gonna let him keep towing me as much as possible, I think. Oh, 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 I'm passing him. Uh, I'm gonna release, release the tow rope. I'll go for that 8 meter per second one. Whoa, whoa. Well, I don't think I'm going to get anywhere. Hmm. That was our uh, behavior. It didn't seem to be going into... Damaged by landing gear. It didn't seem to be going into stall territory, so I don't know why I stalled. I may need to check the situation outside. Okay, well, let's try the... Toe again. Oh. Well, this time I don't. Oh, there it is. But the wire is somewhere else. Why is the wire going off to that side? Oh, well, it looks like. Okay, now we're getting tugged. It's a little bit weird. I have not done much gliding since like the early days of flight sim uh, fsx flight sim 10 so yep oh he's really banking well i'll let go at 5000 is the plan okay uh, there's a release tow rope button release. i'll do that 3300 3,300 is probably above the surface, I guess? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna turn to that 10 meter per second spot. Hopefully it really is. I don't see the promised flocks of birds. Well, but I see the visualization there. We can definitely see the visualization. I miss those. It's nice to see those again. Well, the highest it can get me to is 10,000 feet, I guess. Well, the kinetic assistant is detecting something. Uh, the hillside's a little bit daunting here. I mean, a lot of the gliding gets done on the hillsides. There's the spiral over there. The thermal is quite variable. No, well, there's certainly a nice little thermal we've got here. I should be moving on though. Let me try to get to that 9 meter per second one southwest of here. Oh, very nice, very nice. Thermal showing me a final bit of appreciation here. And now we're out. Well, there is that green spiral there. Am I gonna crash or... We gotta make it over here. Uh, I 
Oh boy. Oh, I'm gonna crash. Oh, it was good for a bit there. I tried to move to a different different one. That didn't work. Maybe I should stay longer in the first one. I didn't really... I only gained like a thousand feet. Okay, let's try this again. Insert Toplane. That Toplane does a weird turn initially. Uh, we're going past it. No, no. Hurry, Toplane. You're supposed to be on this side. Okay. Here we go again. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, we don't want to go faster than the tow plane. Oh boy. Um. Change that up a bit. Well, I'm going to try for the 10 meter one to the left again. And then try to go to the 9 meter one on the same side. And see if that works. Okay, releasing at 6,000 feet. Release 4,400. And again, the 6,000 feet is just uh, altimeter reading. I don't mean it to be the radar altimeter or anything like that. Oh, we're getting lift. Okay, uh, going well. Let's just keep spiraling in here. Not too slow though. Oh, okay, still going up. I'm gonna try it all the way up to 10,000 if I can. Well, I can track IR and look around. It's quite a sight up here. When you have no engine. <laughs> I mean, I have an engine. Well, you're not using or intending to use the engine. Let me put it that way. I feel the thermal isn't quite as strong up here as it was down there. Let's see where it gets us to, though. Okay, on this next turn, I'm gonna head towards the 9 meters per second one. I think we've spent enough time here. Haven't gotten to 10,000, but... It's sort of waffling at this point. So over to that one, we can see it. Okay. I think we've successfully gone from one thermal to another. But again, they're not going to be that strong over out here at this height. Uh, but the next one is a little bit daunting. <laughs> I, I, I want to go to the 10 meter per second one to the southwest there, but boy. That's got a lot of mountains nearby. Well, okay, I'm not feeling like we're getting much out of this. Yeah, let's head for that one over there. Seems a little bit dangerous. Can we get over that ridge to get to it. Well, it looks like we can get over the ridge for sure. Well, this thing sure can glide, huh? Well, we're almost 10 miles away from our takeoff location, judging from the map there. Not a long glide so far, but still. Oh, 
Well, that's one bird right there. Not quite flocks, is it? But... Well, we'll continue southwest to that. Uh, 6 meter per second is pretty weak, though. Uh, there's a 9 meter per second one there. Continuing south. But that's got to be a long ways. I don't even see that one. Maybe I'll edge to the 6 meter per second one first. At least I think that's that green one over there. Not entirely sure where I'm going as far as landing location though. No, we haven't lost that much height. I don't really want to go south. Let's go to the west a bit more. I want to go to that 10 meter per second one over there. Maybe we can get to Lake Geneva. I don't feel like I've lost that much height, so we can just keep going. And like I'll linger around in that particular thermal. So yeah, if we take a look at the map, Lake Geneva is to the north there. LSGS is where we started. Okay, we have activated this thermal. But again, I, I think we haven't lost that much altitude and it can't carry us that much further up. I guess we'll take what we can get. Oh, I see Lake Geneva over there. I don't know what kind of thermals there would be near Lake Geneva. It's not you know, there aren't as as many ridges nearby to work off of. It'd be nice to get to Geneva itself, the city, and actually go all the way down Lake Geneva, but that's a long ways. We're breaking out of this one. I wonder how far it can glide from 9,000 feet on down. Obviously I should have looked up the glide ratio, but Seems like it could be a ways. To be honest, I don't think I have the time to try and get to... I don't know, maybe I'll try and get to Lake Geneva, but... I guess maybe just LSGB, LSGL. We'll try. We'll see how far we can get. Okay. Getting into this one. Well, haven't got much out of this one. I'm just going to move on. Going up the river valley, I don't see a whole lot in this direction. If necessary, we'll land at the next airport. We'll see how far we can get. And yeah, we're probably just going to be going without thermals down this way, seeing how far we can get. And maybe that's because Lake Geneva doesn't have a whole lot of places to put thermals. I mean, that's realistic. Well, I think it's 24 nautical miles to LSGL. We need a glide ratio of 22 to make that. I'm pretty sure this can do that. So, we should be able to get to LSGL. It's gonna take a little bit of time, though. We are over LSGB. Uh, oh, that's that strip. That's right under us, right there. It's got the buildings next to it. It's just a grass thing. Seems less rendered than the fields around it, but anyway. No, oh, it looks like there is a thermal that we might be able to use in front of us, though. That 10 meter per second one, we'll see. May up against this mountain to the left. Oh, I, I guess I can see it right there. Well, we can use that for a little bit. I'm just going to pass through it. I'm not going to... Um, circle around. 
Okay, we are in the thermal. Oh, I'll give it one circle around. Seems like a nice thermal. Okay, we're just going to continue now. And I see the next thermal right there. We'll just head towards it. And Lake Geneva, folks. At this point, I'm thinking about going all the way to Geneva. But that is still a long ways. Okay, I'll just go on to the next one we see there. On down Lake Geneva. About how many more in the right direction are we going to have? Maybe actually instead of that one I should go for the 9 meter per second one further to the left. It'll be m closer to the direction we're supposed to be going in. There is a way to disable the spirals I think. Okay. We're just going through this one. I'm not going to circle around. I mean, I think I can see our destination, so that's usually a good sign that we can get there. I'm not sure I need any more lift, to be honest. I guess I'll take it safety first, but we're just going right through though. The manual does say that it has restrictions on how they're placed, including the altitude limit. Uh, there is also differences in strength depending on precipitation, time of day, uh, winds, and stuff like that too. It does not affect the winds or anything like that. It can't affect the weather system. And the meter per second number does not mean that's the absolute number that gives you in terms of lift. Uh, it's not quite like that. It's just that number is just sort of a suggest. That's the maximum kind of thing. Well, let me uh, toggle the spirals. So I've, I've just turned the spiral off and we can click there's a button in the upper oh okay let's we'll make a stall or something uh, upper left to turn the spirals on and off and everything but I think this is okay now we are going to try to get to Geneva direct This has not been a short flight. I've been soaring for like an hour. Well, I think I'll just close the kinetic assistant. Well, I'll stop displaying the kinetic assistant just so that we get a better view of things. And we are going to be focusing on landing. Well, I am going to aim for speed, perhaps. Uh, maybe not that much speed. <laughs> but we don't need to be this high, I think. So we actually reverse deploy the flaps. Seems like a very subtle effect. You can't really see. Oh, I guess they are tilted up. Taking a look at the reference thing. I'm gonna use the speed brakes. That's why we have them. I wanna fly straight in. I don't wanna circle around or anything. Well, this will be my first time landing, uh, landing a glider in a while, so I'm probably gonna die. We'll see. 
Especially the way I'm going like this, treating it like a shuttle or something. Gear down. Uh, well, let me dump that ballast. I hope that's what that does. <laughs> Oh, it becomes very stuttery there. Whenever I use some of the things like the flaps and speed brakes, it might be loading some scenery though. Okay. All right, coming in. Let's see if I can do this. I right, got a nice long runway anyway. Trying to do it gently. Okay, all right, all right. Well, I guess spoilers. All right. I may need a tow. Alright, completed a flight from Sion to Geneva. And that's good. That's the first time I completed a proper glider flight in a long, long time. And yes, kinetic assistant definitely was necessary for that. I don't know if there's an easy way to do it in the game. But anyway, so with that... Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.